Welcome everyone to another episode of The Saiga Show, the show that makes insurance and life less complicated. And today, this is uh, episode 21, and we're going to be discussing what are some of the mistakes that new agents make. So, you know, when you're new to the industry, new to sales or insurance, um, sometimes it could be a lot you know, to take in, especially if you come from a completely different industry. So there's a lot of things that people do that could probably be hindering their success. So that's what we're going to be discussing. You know, what are some common mistakes that people make and things that you should avoid when you're just starting out. So that's why Carlos is here today. So he's going to be shedding his expert, sharing his expertise and uh, yeah. So thank you, Carlos, for being here and joining us again today. Thank you. And I don't think I have another choice. No? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, um, I mean, I've been uh, having experience for a few years, um, 18 years or 19 years doing that, uh, getting new people starting this business. Um, I can say even more than a thousand people also, even under me, they have training. I can say oh, even wow. the number can be higher if I start paying more attention to the years. Um, so yeah, I can give you an, uh, a, a good feedback in that part. Before to start, I want to say uh, thank you for the person that we choose to get this co this question. Yeah. We should put something together to give a gift when the people send <laughs> that, and then we choose the the, the subject. If we got right. somebody and give you something back, so I don't know. Some yeah, that's a good idea. idea. Yeah. So let's talk about it later. <laughs> now I was thinking about it. Sorry. Okay. So uh, biggest mistakes the new agent makes, right? Mm -hmm. So let me start with one. Uh, the one that comes and he knows everything, right? That is a really hard one, right? In in a lot of times, and don't take me don't take me wrong, guys. If oh, uh, uh, over there outside people that listen. If you have a background experience, for example, in insurance when sales, um, like I used to say when I started in this industry, maybe you even know more to me than me how to do a sales because you have lived, read at that time more books than me and everything, or you have more years of experience. Right. It doesn't mean that you should that you should not be open to learn new things, right? Oh, absolutely. So what I learned from this, from this part, from the people that knows everything, from the people that has more years and sales experience than me at that time. Today's day, I'm older, so I cannot say that because um, we haven't put more years on it. Right. Um, but I, they, they, you always gonna learn something different. Even if you come, uh, let's put it like that. If you, you have. Uh, your manager, the, you, the person that's going to be working with you or the, you coach, your mentor has, let's say, for example, five years on, of insurance experience in that moment, mm -hmm. right, with that company, and you come and you have, and, and uh, I'm sorry, and, and those five years also has been in sales experience and right. sales experience and specifically that insurance company. Mm -hmm. And then you come with 20 years background sales, for example, yeah. uh, and successful in other industries, you should adapt it to that person because that person make it to that position some way, somehow, hopefully in the right way, they has to uh, hustle it and, and learn how to get there, right? Mm -hmm. So you right. should stay uh, humble, quiet, and listen to that person. Everything mm -hmm. they tell you. Even, right. um, I used to tell people that has more experience in sales with, uh, than me at that time, in the time, the past, or I mean, maybe today I will find somebody else who has more years than me. Mm -hmm. um, but I would tell people, hey, uh, I'm honest with you, you have in your background more sales experience than me. Yeah. Right? But I'm in this side and I have made it here because I follow some things. So don't make mistakes. The mistakes that I made to make here, I want you to follow the easy path so avoid the mistakes they made mm. so you can get faster right. where I am or even past me, right? Yeah. Um, and s only, uh, to be honest with you, I remember one person that was a really uh, a good student, let's put it like that. Mm -hmm. um, he came with 25 years experience. Like in sales or? In insurance. Oh, wow. Actually. And actually <laughs> has 20 fun. years uh, and also in the same specific industry. Wow. but at different companies. Yeah. And what I like about that person, is, is that person was really open to hear me out and do whatever I tell it to do. 
And guess what? In a short period of time, it got to one point and continue growing in, in, in the industry as well, in this specific right. company. Yeah. So I'm honest with you, I learned even a lot from this person because that's like a 25 years at that point, I think they had only, um, that would be maybe six years only. Oh wow. Right? Yeah. I still, I, I think that was my second year as a, as a, a manager of an area. And then he, at that point, this person has 25 years. Yeah. But I would have loved is the attitude of learning every single time that I was talking. And remember, it's in the same specific in insurance, but in the same specific uh, line of business, right? Yeah. Because you can do talk life insurance, health insurance, whatever. We were in the same specific industry, uh, um, line of business. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, he has 25 years, uh, 25 years in total when I have only six. Yeah, but I went use, yeah. But when you see the person, when I was talking to the person, it was open like I was a brand new agent. It was like this, taking notes, asking questions. I was like, okay, that's kind of weird. But it was amazing. And I learned a lot of stuff from that person, right? right. So that was a big thing. And in, uh, in, in the opposite, opposite side, I remember sometime, somebody came to my office for an interview mm -hmm. and he says, I have 35 years of experience in sales. And uh, I can sell, what was that I say? They say, he say, I can sell an ice cream to, uh, what's the saying? An ice cream to an Eskimo or something like that. Oh, something like that. Oh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> and I say, oh, I'm glad for you. So I thought, and when I see the resume, that was uh, impressive actually. That person has run companies, has run different st stuff. Mm. But I guess what? If I was telling go right, that person would go left because he thought it was left was the best way to go. Yeah. Exactly. And it was hard. That person, I don't, I don't think they make it more than three months. Uh, it was hard to follow any directions, and it was not even making it. So I was at a point that I said, you know what? I'm so sorry, but I, I cannot help you right. if you don't take the information from here. Yeah. Right. So that was one. The other one, for example, I had somebody that has um, not bachelor degree after uh, master, no master, no uh, after master is uh, doctorate. Doctorate. Mm. And I was interested because the person really is a, have a good conversation and was interested. And then when we went to training, uh, we started walk, working with the person and the person say, no, I mean, my education tells me that I should do it like this and not like this. And I was like, okay, um, work. Uh, and I get to a point that I say, okay, try it like that. And right. then he tried in the wrong way and it's crash. Yeah, it didn't work. It didn't work, right? So that's just one of the big things that will tell you. If you, whatever you experience, whatever your background is, if you had 20 years, 30 years, you have one year experience, be quiet, just mm -hmm. learn as much as you can, take as much information from the person that's willing to train you, right? right. Yeah. And if the person has a, 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 has a proof history that he has, or he or she has done it, go for it, you know? Yeah, exactly. I mean, if they were able to do it, then obviously what they're doing works, right? Exactly. So follow their example. There's a, a book that I really like it. Um, oh gosh, I just lost the title. And basically, um, oh, shut up and listen. Is the, oh, okay, the, yeah. The, the name of the book. One. I forgot mm -hmm. the outer, uh, uh, author name. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. um, but basically, he say, I, I put this title because pe he's a billionaire. Yeah. And people come to him and some friends, hey, how should I do this and all this stuff? And as soon as he starts talking and telling how to do it, and that business that he's a billionaire, right? No, I'm me, a billionaire. And then he goes, um, you know what? No, but I think that my business will work like uh, in my co in my company. I will do it like this. And he goes, so what the hell are you asking me question? Right. I'm at this level and you in that level, whatever. And he has to do it in a bad way saying that comment. Right, but I say, course. why you come to ask me things? I'm telling you and you even interrupt me and you even do something different than what I'm telling you. Yeah, why ask in the first place? Yeah. So I love the title. I didn't understand why shut up and listen or whatever. Something <laughs> like that. Or, yeah. And it's, it's an amazing book, by the way, if you want to read it. That's um, good read. Mm -hmm. So that's one, the people, the people that you think that you know everything and you don't want to do nothing and you don't want to follow directions. Yeah, or try something new, yeah. Big mistake. I don't care if you're in the same insurance industry, if you are in, in the same life of that insurance, but another company, every single company works different way. Right. So you exactly. can have the same kind of products, products are different, the way that you make more sales are different, the name recognition, it's a lot of things that can impact your results. So guys also be quiet and uh, listen to the, the, the mentor, the trainer, the manager, whoever is working with you.
Right, exactly. Because clearly what they've done, it works. So why wouldn't you follow their suggestions? You know, try something new. I think that's a, b a big thing as well. Just keep an open mind. And like you said, don't think that you know it all because oh, you, know, yeah, you don't. It, it kills you. Yeah. Even the people that are at that level, I'm sure that they got there because they were open to continue learning as well. Oh, yeah, that's true. So, yeah, that's that's a big thing. And I think that might even be a mistake is that you're not educating yourself to learn how to do these things, right? You have to keep uh, learning so you don't have like a lack of knowledge in the industry that you're going into. Correct. Right. So the, the, the other thing is that one, the lack of knowledge. Mm -hmm. But uh, before I get to that one, because I have another point that I want to uh, address in here, the okay. kind of like um, the other thing that I see. So we see these people, they know everything, right? Right. And they don't want to learn, right? Yeah. But then we have all the other people that say, you know what? I don't feel comfortable doing talking to somebody until I know everything. Mm. Oh, that's an interesting point. Yeah. yeah that's and true. I have a few people like that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and with all my respect. Uh, you will never be able to know everything. I've been, right. what, 20 whatever years in the industry, I'm still learning every day new things. Yeah. So don't, you don't have to know everything. Find out what is the main thing that you had to know to start getting some kind of activity and focus on that part, mm. right? So yeah. no, uh, no, I want to say how to do this, how to say this, and what about if you say this, and what about, and what about if you go south, east, north, whatever, all the stuff. No, it's, it's impossible. Mm. It's hard. Because yeah. yeah. one people can tell me yes, the other person say no, the other one say maybe. Right, then I have right. three different ways, and then I go for every, every way they follow, it's gonna go for another three ways, or three ways, three ways. <laughs> so it's impossible. Yeah. So you don't know, you don't need to know everything about that product or everything about the, the sales uh, yeah, service or product, whatever you're doing. You need to know the specific things. One, you need to know what the product do, does, right. right? Why is that good or why you like it? Why you should yeah. like it, mm -hmm. right? You still have to explain it to people. Yeah. Exactly, to explain it to people. And then everything else, you will get little by little information. It's not like you can put a chip and say, okay, now I know everything because yeah. it will take time. And unfortunately for our business, if you wait too much time, it can impact economically too. Right. Also, you're not talking, you're impacting family, you're not helping family because you're not, oh, I want to wait until three months that I feel more comfortable, I want to wait for a year. In a year, you're gone, in, in, 12, in three months, you're already gone because you didn't do nothing, so you didn't impact no families, you didn't help yourself either. Yeah, exactly. Because you're I need to know everything. Sense. Right. Yeah, that's true, that's a good point. I didn't even really consider that, but I'm sure a lot of people definitely feel that way because obviously you want to feel confident enough to go out there and sometimes when you don't have, like, when you feel like you don't have that knowledge, you lack confidence and you're like, I don't think I could do it yet. I'm not ready. But that's a big mistake. Perfect. You just have to do it. You have the point. And then the problem is that they, they don't even know when is the point that they just get, right. feel comfortable. Yeah. So they're going to continue to say, I'm not comfortable. I'm not comfortable. I, know how, I don't feel uh, confident. confident. Yeah. So then, oh, uh, when I get here, I will. And then you get there, no, but I need to know now all these things because more than you are into, you right. find out, you have to find out more information. So you will never end up doing the stuff. Exactly. You know? So. Big mistake. Just do it, right? Learn yeah, enough, just do it. Just go out there and do it. Throw yourself in the water, you know? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Then what you were talking about, lack of knowledge, right? right. So the lack of knowledge is because basically um, people learn something and then they don't want to learn more stuff, right? So I tell you, this is a phone to make phone calls. Okay, so I just dial and I can call you. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Good. Right. So that's it, right? But then I don't start, oh, wow, I can put my calendar in here. Oh, wow, I can send a text message. I can send a reminder. I can say, oh, I can put a, a things to do. Hey, Siri, whatever. All these kind of different things that I couldn't do with this. Yeah. But because I was no curious or I didn't want to learn more about it, Mm -hmm. I just use it as a make a phone call. Yeah, exactly. And the problem with that is one, my, my knowledge is limited to one single thing or my knowledge is limited. So when I'm talking to you and if you give me some question or you open or open to someplace else, I have no idea about it, mm. right? Right. So I will, be, I will be lacking one to help you to give you a better answer Right. to give you more information because I feel, okay, yes, I, I know how to use it. I can make a phone call, hey, what's up? What's up? So and that, that's pretty much. 
Mm -hmm. But everything else that this product, that this uh, program, that these services can give you, in our case, insurance, right. you, you lock in everything else. It's just, oh, you're going to pay when you die. For example, life insurance. Life insurance. You put it like that, that sounds uh, kind of cold, yeah. right? Yeah, it's not very attractive. Exactly. But when you say no, you also can plan the financial responsibility for your kids, but all your mortgage and whatever, and all these kind of different things. Right. Or if you're doing a... a uh, IUL, you can start taking money, whatever, when they have a situation, and all these kind of different things. So the person will say, oh, okay, and top, I can use it for this, I can use it for this. Uh, it makes sense for me. And then guess what? They will take it from you because you have that knowledge and right. you help the people to understand they can have more benefits for them. Mm -hmm. So you would say make an effort to continue learning the products that you're selling as best as you can, right? Right. After so you start. Yeah. Because, for example, right away, and, and, and I had this scenario, uh, I had people that started, right? Right. And I told them, okay, read this page. Oh, no, I, I'm sorry. They, I explained a brochure, for example. Okay, we're going to talk about this this program. And I explained, okay, this is this, this, this. Yeah. And even I give you the brochure, or even I give you the information so they can read it. Right. They didn't read nothing else. They just took whatever I told them that exact moment. Oh, I see. So yeah. a week later, for example, they still just know what I told them <laughs> about that product. Yeah. So I give you the the, cal the manual for the cell phone. But I told mm -hmm. you, hey, yeah, you dial, you click, 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 and press this, and you make a phone call. Right. And a week later, that's the only thing that you know what to do. Mm -hmm. Instead of be going home and open it and they say, oh, wow, I can do this. You know what? Let me read this catalog. Oh, you see, if I press this, I can send a text message. Oh, I can put a Google or whatever, whatever all these kind of different things because you right. start being curious or you, get, you want to get more knowledge right away about it. Yeah, That's exactly. what I mean with that lack of knowledge or that lack of, pa <clears throat> sorry, lack of passion to learn more. Gotcha. You just limited yourself about why you're telling me right now. And that's it. Yeah. I mean, that make, that's a perfect example because it's true. It has so many functionalities, but I don't think any, a lot of people take advantage of it because they don't know it. They don't know how it works. So definitely do your own part in learning, you know, your product that you sell and make that extra step. Not just learn what you have to learn to sell it, but go do more than that because that'll help you like come up with different ways how you can approach uh, you know, a presentation or how to even handle an objection because you understand the product so well, right? Perfect. It's for example, maybe if, going back to the example of the cell phone, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe for you is um, even make a phone call is not even good to the kids, you, your kids. You don't, <laughs> maybe a 10 message is better in, the, in, in oh, yeah. how easy it is to have all the social media platform here. Mm. Now you're talking an uh, older person like me, the phone call, I don't care about nothing else. Okay, let me do a phone call. Hey, how you right. doing? <laughs> that's yeah. it, right? Yeah. Um, so it has, that, that's opportunity also because you can even identify what else you can offer for different people. Yes. But if exactly. I knew only, oh, it can make phone calls, that's it. Right. It doesn't attract you maybe. Oh, yeah, no. I want the other one, even this pricely or even this cheap or whatever, and I can do more things. Yeah, you exactly. Know? That's that's a perfect example. So that's definitely a key point. And also, I think since we're already on that subject, it's important to not only educate yourself on the product so you have that knowledge, but also continue training your skills, right? Correct. That's the next one. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. So why training is important? Because basically you will learn those things when you practice, right? Right. So you're going to you're gonna practice two ways. One, you practice with yourself or people around you, mm -hmm. or you practice in front of a client. Right. And the problem with the front of a client, um, you may be going to mess it up. Yeah. <laughs> and unfortunately, a lot of people do that. Yes, mm -hmm. okay, so you told me today this is a phone and make phone calls. Go outside. Hey, I want to send you this phone and make phone calls. That's it. And I didn't know what else to say. When they ask you something else, you, um, yeah, and, you choke. <laughs> uh, can I get back to you? <laughs> right. you know? And I think that yeah. you have here that, and people have here, oh, let me get back to you in that one. I right. will be soon back to you, whatever. Right? Mm. So, because they haven't even practiced that stuff. Or, or, or they start like, uh, is, um, yeah, this phone is, is, is um, uh, a good phone because 
uh, it makes phone calls. So yeah. you start even, even you, you're not even sure how to flow your conversation or the info, right. how you're gonna give you the information to your client, mm -hmm. to your prospect, right? Exactly, yeah. So that is a, 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 that's what training is important. So one, if you had the opportunity to train with people, so you can start training right away, Yeah. right? So you practice, 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 and then you go, when you go with a client, you already know what to say. It's almost automatically. It's it's it's, mm. a, it's an instinct. Just come, comes, everything comes back right away. Exactly. So basically, like role playing, that would be a good way of doing that. Yeah, right? role Practice. playing. Practice. Yeah, because it's true. Once if you teach yourself these things, but never practice it, once you're in the in the moment with someone, they might hit you with something that you never even thought of, and that's when you start panicking and you're like. Like you said, oh, I'll get back to you, which I think to me sounds really bad, and I wouldn't trust someone yeah. that tells me. And I mean, in some cases, you're gonna have some something like that, but if it's if or everything that you're gonna be talking, you're gonna be like, I'm not sure about that. Let me come back. I'm not sure about that. Let me go yeah. back to you. Right. That's hard. I mean, I know it's gonna be one or two that you one time maybe you say, you know what, I'm not. Let me just confirm that one. It's okay. But if you're gonna do that all the time in the conversation, or more, or in, a few times in the conversation, that won't look, uh, uh, like you say, it doesn't sound that good, right? Yeah, it's not very good. But also think about this. Let's put an example with, uh, about sport players, right? Right. If they, they, let's see basketball, because I love basketball. So they play in basketball, right? Mm -hmm. And sometimes we say, oh yeah, they're making crazy money, right? Yeah. But those people make, I mean, they play, so we, there's an effort, right? They're playing. That's when you go and sell, right? But on top of that, they're going to, after the games, the next day, they go and practice. Yeah, exactly. And they don't practice just one time. They practice maybe two or three times during the day. Throughout the day. Yeah. And during the week. Mm -hmm. So they keep practicing. And they keep practicing maybe even playing basketball, right? right. And shooting and passing and some uh, combinations and all this stuff, strategies and all this stuff, right? Yeah. So that they do on top of that. But on top of that, they also go to the gym. Mm-hmm. To uh, to get more muscles and more uh, so to work the whole Agility thing. Agility and everything, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's not just that. Oh no, I just wanna play the game. So a lot of you, a lot of new people, you just wanna go and play the game, go right mm -hmm. away to the game, which is right. talking to the client, and see what happened. Yeah. And guess what? Imagine you your favorite team in whatever sport if they do that. Oh, yeah, it wouldn't be that good of a game. <laughs> they will fail a lot of times. Yeah. I mean, they had to be really goddamn good, but I also... talented, yeah. But also, like uh, you say, natural talent is getting beat up by somebody the practice can be. Oh, right? yeah, absolutely. So that's, the, that's the difference, guys. So if you can train by your... You don't have nobody to train. Go talk to a friend and say, hey, I just want to give you a presentation. I don't try to offer this. I just want you to hit me as hard as you can with questions. Right. And, and start practicing for 10 minutes or five minutes and they got another frame. And that's cool because one, maybe even they get interested in what you have. Yeah, right? that's true. It happened yeah. to me. But a second, <laughs> for example, maybe they, they're gonna hit you straight because they don't care. They're trying to, they, 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 that kind of friends that I have, <laughs> they're gonna try to put you down. Yeah. <laughs> and what about this? And you, oh, sure, you wanna, yeah, mess mm. you up and you don't even talk about that stuff, <laughs> yeah. right? They're gonna make fun of that. Right. So, but then you prepare it for the future, for the real games. Exactly. That's the best part. Yeah, and I think maybe even with people in your team, if you can, because if there's a lot of them that have experience, then they'll maybe hit you with objections that they've heard frequently, which will also help you prepare as well, right? Um, I will tell you something. If you had the opportunity, you're starting right now in any insur in any industry, actually, in, in, in sales, mm -hmm. talk right right now as your supervisor, manager, mentor, or, or coach, whatever, whoever is taking care of you. Uh, would you mind to give me the questions, the, 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 the people, the, the most common objections that you get? Oh, interesting. You yeah. should, somebody should have those already. Right. If you're selling cars, you should know what it's gonna ask you. Oh, it's too, it's too pricey, I don't have enough, blah, 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 mileage, gas, or whatever. I don't know, which will mm -hmm. be the questions. Right. But if you're in the industry, somebody's been there for a while, it's a manager or something, a coach, they should know those questions already. Those, those questions are gonna come out for somebody. Exactly. So you should be practicing those right away. Yeah, so that's an excellent point as well. And then if something we discussed in our previous episode, which is when you're choosing an agency to work for, that if you're also new and you're thinking about starting an in insurance, then make sure you look out that 
keep an eye out for that that they have those trainings and that they do things like that like role playing so that you could get that practice and then you know be like set yourself up for success basically correct yeah. um uh, a little advertise we have for example that we have a whole list of the objections and different type of answers how to answer the stuff yes exactly. so it make easy so you don't have to figure that out when you are in front of somebody you are if you study enough you know when they say something you say i understand what you say and, and go back to whatever you had to say you know yes that's a good point point. and actually we'll be coming out with more resources like that so keep an eye out for that we'll be putting that out very soon to help you guys out more so yeah th those are uh pretty common mistakes i'm sure that people make but what about like being consistent would that be something that a lot of new agents make like a mistake that they make Oh yeah, or not so, being consistent. So let's put it before. Oh, oh, okay, let's do consistency. Yeah, consistency. Uh, when you start doing something and you're not consistent, you don't see the results. Simple, right? right? Mm -hmm. Like some people say, okay, I want to start doing exercise because I want to feel better, and they do it two days, and then oh, I don't see no results. <laughs> yeah, man, we've been eating those tacos for 10 years or 30 years and then you went in, in a burrito and all this stuff and then you yeah. don't want, I don't say nothing, I love that food. Right. <laughs> um, and then you wanna see a result in two days or in a week. No, mm -hmm. it won't happen like that. We had to start going even more times and continue doing for months and months. I mean, are we doing the bad habits for so many times, so many years. So many years. So yeah. the consistency will help you to see results, right? Yeah, so that makes sense. But at the same time, even before consistency, I will say to follow directions. That's oh, another problem, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna give you an example. So we have people that has come to training before in the past, and we tell, okay, you need to do A, B, C, A, B, C, D. And do they, they go and, oh, I'm gonna go A, C. And I say, why are you gonna do A, C? Oh, because I feel like it. Right. Or they don't say why, or they just continue to go doing AC, and even you tell them, no, ABC is proof results. Yeah, it's it's proven. Why you wanna make the same mistake that somebody did? Right. Follow yeah. those directions, and when you follow those directions, and if you do, and and then if you put the persistency and doing the right things, mm -hmm. you will get results. Right. Now, yes. don't start in a business and, and don't go to sales. You think that the first day you're going to be crazy making crazy money or whatever. No, I promise you something. If you follow direction, you have a good coach, a good mentor, team members. And if you're consistent doing what they tell you to do, the activity, yeah, you will do good. Yeah, absolutely. Bec it's, they've done it. Yeah, right? exactly. So they've done it. And there's no reason to make the same mistakes that other people have. Instead, just learn from those mistakes. And if they, like you said, if they give you a way or instructions on how to do something that has worked for them, like we mentioned previously, then why not try it? Why not do it? You know, it's like you said, like some people think they know it all, so maybe they don't want to, or maybe they just don't really like to follow directions. But that's also a huge mistake because there's a reason why those instructions are in place, right? It's like I used to give an example to people um, and, and I say, okay, imagine that you have, uh, a, a, you open a new uh, stand for hamburgers in, in the corner in your house. And then one of the biggest managers from McDonald's say, hey, I'm gonna teach you how to do the stuff better and faster or whatever. And you say, no, thank you. <laughs> um, I know what to do. Or they right. tell you to do it right and you go left. I don't say about the quality or the stuff when you're talking about the process, right? Yeah. Um, so, and then you say, no, I want to go left. Mm -hmm. I mean, why? You know? Um, so, my, my team, for example, we, I tell them, hey, I want to take you fast. I, I, I'm, I, I, I'm here. Right. I got from here to here, right? But I don't want you to do this, what I did. Right. I want you to go like this. So right don't on. do this. Follow this direction. I already messed it up 20,000 times so you don't have to. Yes, exactly. So it's, it's an easy straight line so you don't have to make those mistakes. It makes sense, right? Yes, it makes perfect sense. Exactly. So don't just follow directions, right? Mm -hmm. and, and if you put the effort to do things, yeah. 
plus the consistent that we talk, it will happen beautiful things. Game changer. Hell yes. And by effort, we'll put into what exactly? That's a good point, my friend. So I, I, I just, I'm gonna start with an example. And in, in, uh, I have a person that say, it's, okay, I set up this meeting, I set it up. Mm -hmm. People want it, but I need you to go at this time and this time. And the person say, oh, I can't. And I was, why? It's too early. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> oh yeah, oh, that day I had to go to my, um, I don't know, whatever it was. I had to take my car for revision because you're 1099 and you're independent owner or you are your own owner, whatever. And I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. And that person didn't go. And I'm okay, well, it's up to you. Send somebody else, that person got 10 grand. And commission. Wow. Nice. And I make sure the other person listened up because the other person that didn't want to do that effort mm -hmm. actually left the business because they didn't make money. Of course. Yeah. Makes sense? <laughs> it makes sense. And th so you had to tr do the effort about putting time, putting, uh, putting the time to study, time to whatever. I mean, if you, when I start, like I, I told people, if I tell you to jump, uh, what question you should ask me? How high? How high? There we go. That's it. Don't right. ask why should I uh, why should I jump? But uh, I need to take my jacket. Uh, should I need to go to? I need to change my shoes. Um, can we program tomorrow because today is too hard? And right. uh, come on, man. <laughs> you know, let's jump. It's jumping. Right. How high? high? And, and don't tell me to stop. I mean, keep going. You know. <laughs> yeah. That's the people, if, if I have the chance to somebody to come to me and say, hey, I'm a billionaire and I'm gonna take you to the next level, I won't question that person. Right. Why well, would I question that person? Yeah, exactly. They done what I haven't. Right. And yeah. it's not because we don't know what to do, it's because we don't want to do sometimes or sometimes because we don't know what to do. So it can be two things, right? Right. Because if everybody know what to do, why not everybody's millionaire or billionaire? Right? Why you know everybody's successful? Let's not talk only about money, successful in everything else, in health, in life, and everything. That's a good point because it's all online. It's all in books. It's all available. Yeah. But why isn't everyone successful? And today it's free because you can do more, like you say, online. Before you had to make sure that you buy a book or oh, I can afford a book. No, but you have a, everybody has a cell phone with, with social media, it's whatever. Limited resources. Google, is, everything is free YouTube. or whatever. YouTube, yeah. everything. So it's all there, but what's missing? Yeah, effort. It's that effort the to effort actually to do, do it. To do things. So that makes sense, yeah. And in this case, you're gonna have somebody in front of you that wanna spend their time to show you what to do. Right, exactly. Do the effort. <laughs> I used to tell people this, use and abuse your management for your own benefit. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Yeah, take advantage. Take an advantage as much as you can. Squeeze them as much as you can for your own benefit. Yeah. Because in all places, that's what they do to us. When you work with somebody else, right? Oh, yeah. They're trying Absolutely. to squeeze you as much as you can to see what you can get from there. We, yeah. I have I work for some places like that. A lot of places are like that. I yeah. work for places like that before in my past, right? Mm -hmm. So try to do that stuff for yourself or find a place that, they, that you know that they really care about you. They really give you the information that you can take advantage of that. And if you find one of those places, try to take as much advantage as you can. Right, absolutely. Because they don't charge you for that stuff, the information. No, and there's not too many places like that either. So definitely take advantage. And like you said, keep making an effort to, you know, do those things because it, it's, it changes like your productivity and, and your everything. It'll set you up for success for sure. In, in by the way, and now I remember something. I in my saying is this. I'm sorry. Consistency. We as we just talk about it. Consistency and persistency is is also a pretty good thing. And consistency and persistency basically is doing something, but I doing the amount of times. Mm. So I give you an example. I'm gonna do exercise, right? Right. So I'm gonna be consistent in doing exercise. But then I start the first week, I start doing it five times per week. Yeah. Every day, right? 
Now, the second week, I say, oh, gosh, that was too much. I'm lazy. I got today's cold. Like, today in the morning was cold. We almost don't get up to uh, go yeah. to the gym. It was freezing. It was hard to get up, but yeah. we did it. <laughs> um, so, uh, so instead of be fine, I'm going to go three times now. Right. I mean, I'm consistency going to the gym. True. But I'm not doing right. the persistency. Right. So that is also a problem to here, too. People go, no, but I'm going to work. I'm going to, this, I'm going to the street. I'm hitting clients. And when you started, you weren't hitting, uh, you're making 200, uh, for example, 300 phone calls per week. Yeah, and I, but I'm making calls. I'm in consistency. How many calls are you doing? 10 per week. I was like, really? And then you complain? Right. So it's, it's like you, you change the intensity, basically. Right? Yeah. So you're sure you're consistent in a way, but the not persistency as doesn't help. You're not persistent. Yeah, exactly. So I always say you want to be successful, consistent persistency will make you sure that you get it there. Right. And I think it's a pretty common thing. I think we're about to see it next month with people with their New Year's resolutions. Oh, yeah. It's always the same thing. The gyms are all packed <laughs> in January because everyone, they have that desire, you know, and then maybe the first few weeks they'll be there. They'll be consistent. But then what happens in February, March? It start the disappearing all the stuff. <laughs> little by little. The oh, oh, also, too, and, and I feel bad about sharing this one because sometimes <laughs> when you go to the gym, you, you're not thinking that I'm a boring, boring person. Right. You go in the gym to the mo Mondays, Tuesdays, you see a lot of people. Fridays is not too many. <laughs> no one. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> Even today, empty. it was pretty empty. Yeah, right? because it was cold. <laughs> it was too true. cold. True. So that that is the part, right? So yeah. that is the that the consistency, the pers consistency in persistency as well. Yeah. Right. So stay stay consistent and make that effort as well to stay consistent. I'm gonna bring something up. It's nothing to do with the subject, but uh, you mentioned it, and I like that stuff. Uh, resolutions because we in that in that point, right? Uh, yeah. okay. New Year's resolutions. Yeah. I uh, want you guys to if you listen to me, please don't think about resolution. You had to wait for a whole year. That's something yeah. the the I used to think like that. No, you know what? Next year is gonna be better, and it's only in January. It's February. Yeah. Or next year I will start <laughs> doing different stuff, and it's March. Right. Right. Or even November, and and but I, yeah, next year is gonna be uh, I'm gonna be doing different things. No, man. Every night that you go and reset your clock, go get wake up and take it like it's a new year, and just get new resolution like that. Yeah. That is one of the things I wanna. Uh, nothing to do with this, but. Uh, if you listen to it, it help you a lot so you don't have to wait, you don't have the excuse for yourself to wait for a whole year right. and continue eating the same results. Yeah, uh, well, I even another thing that I hear often is I'll start on Monday too. That's also another thing. You know, it's not a whole year, it's a few days, but even then that, that affects you because those few days it'll be enough for you to just set excuses or come up and they make it harder to start on monday it makes it even harder yeah so good point don't wait at all you know another yeah. hour just yeah. do it right now yeah. <laughs> you want to do something just start, start doing, doing, it. doing it or even just close your eyes okay yeah. that's it i'm good <laughs> new year new day yeah. new, home. new me new yeah. second <laughs> <laughs> so just exactly don't wait just start doing it because it, once you start overthinking it or thinking too much about it and start delaying it, it'll just slow you down and it'll stop you. It'll yeah, just completely stop yep. you. So that, that's a big thing as well. But yeah, being consistent. And also another thing that is probably a mistake that it might be relating to a little bit what we mentioned earlier about knowing it all. Maybe not, but peop not continuing to learn, right? Or Correct. Or edu educate yourself. So it's, it's two different things, right? So one, in the beginning, when you start, that you need to learn fast more about your products, right? right? Mm -hmm. and, and unfortunately, every, the people around you, they won't be able to spend a whole day with you. Let's read this brochure together. It, okay, <laughs> repeat after me, yeah. right? It yeah. will kill everybody, right? right? So you had to do the initiative or learning. Exactly. Learning most, why? Because it's going to take you longer. If you're going to learn by experience, it's going to take you longer, right? So you need to put that time. But also, even after that, you know the pro, you know the phone, how that works, right? Yeah. You need to continue to kidding yourself. 
Yeah, of course. So I, I know an example, for example, so the, 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 the sport people, right? Let's put it like that, a basketball player, right? Mm -hmm. So they continue learning, They con I'm sorry, they continue playing games. So in, uh, in, it's a lot of action, a lot of exercise, and a lot of, a lot of uh, strength and whatever, right? Mm -hmm. They continue practicing shooting and, and doing practices and all this stuff. They continue going to the gym. Yeah. But I bet you that they see when they a new sneakers comes out and they see that they maybe has better joint stuff or they see there's a new system to strain you back or different food. So they continue to kill in themselves right. and different things. Yeah. So what happened with us, and this is not even for uh, independent salesperson, this is for anybody. Most of the people that you, when you start a job, I mean, you're learning, oh yeah, teach me this, oh, I need to do it like this. As soon as you got it, you say, oh, I got it. And I can do it even with my eyes closed, right? So I don't yeah. need to do nothing else. No, you should in, start involve, you, e evolving to learn something or related or different or something to continue getting better in that, better. Yeah. right? That's the key. So okay. if, for example, let's see that I'm a, a salesperson, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm selling life insurance. Right, so uh, and I, yeah, oh, I, I know the pros for life insurance. Okay, good for you. I know all the companies. Okay, good for you. What about the economy? What I mean, the economy. What the economy has to do with life insurance? I don't know. Right. Right. So yeah, what about people right now is talking about uh, next year's coming? Maybe uh, and hopefully they there's no. I mean that's why it's coming. They say is a uh, um, like a recession. A recession coming yeah. up. So get ready. Uh, and people is uh, afraid of people that has money and, and retirement, for example. Mm -hmm. um, you can be losing money because that's attached to the market. The market, yeah. Uh, so if, if you know that, you should start talking to your clients and say, hey, we need to put that money in a UL, a UL when um, annuity. So at mm -hmm. least you don't lose when the market crash or something. Hopefully it doesn't happen that way. Right. But if you don't exactly. pay attention to that, so you don't tell him right now nothing, and then your clients that you they couldn't you could help right. because you didn't learn nothing else. You didn't understand. Oh no, I know everything right. about life insurance. <laughs> I know everything. I don't. I, I can't sell a life insurance with my eye closed. You know. Yeah. Or even health insurance. Health. I mean anything. Those anything. things continue changing. Yes, they're constantly changing. Yeah. They're adding new things or changing things, updating. It's the market is changing all the time. I mean, shoot, there's everything new every, all, every single day. Yeah, exactly. So if you stay be if you don't if you don't try to learn more, you going you are behind. You are all news. Mm, yeah. Simple. You'll stay behind. Yeah. People are, people that adapt and keep learning, they'll keep moving forward. But if you don't and you stop learning, then that's where basically you stop yourself. Uh, and, and one other example, for example, in, in my case, we're talking about four, uh, 14 years ago, even more. I mean, uh, technology was not a big deal, right? We still had to do paper apps on other stuff, mm. one or two other programs, like the really slow programs that we had to type and the program takes longer, right? Yeah. Today's day, you can sign an application really and online and fight 10 minutes, stop. And even you so can get hard. a result for insurance company, even in... 15 minutes mm. before you had to get the paper out, go to the mail, put a stamp, send <laughs> the stuff, up. take a week to go to or four days to get there. And then underwriting another two weeks, you make a mistake, they send you that back, <laughs> the paper, you sign it. So, yeah. I mean, if you stay like that and you don't want to do nothing, no, you stay behind, you stay, uh, the competition is going to kick you. Right. You lose an opportunity, you lose a market. Yeah, exactly. So continue to learn, continue to educate yourself in the news as well, or other things that could uh, f like help your business, help you in your skills. Um, because yeah, that will take you to the next level. Oh yeah. Because I mean, like you said, you could be an expert or you could consider yourself to be an expert in the product, but how are your sell skills or your presentation skills or your people skills? You know, it's so many things that you wouldn't even consider at first, but that could just take you to another place. Like it's a excellent example. So that's that's a big mistake, not continuing to learn. Yeah, D thinking that, okay, I have 20 years, I have 30 years experience, and I'm good in mm -hmm. what I'm doing. I've been doing it for 30 years, so I don't yeah. need to know nothing else. Yeah. I mean, even in your case, you've been in this industry for like so many years, right? And 
we're we constantly talk about new books that we're reading right? yeah new books and new things is happening new legislations happen changes yeah and how we do and adapt to different things right so if we stay passive then i don't know where we'll be my friend yeah so i i agree with those things so yeah if you're new to the industry definitely try to avoid these things and you know take our suggestions don't make the mistake of not listening to what we're saying <laughs> we should add that one in there that's a big mistake <laughs> listen to the saiga show yeah <laughs> if you don't listen you're making a huge mistake but yeah that's um i think that was that was great advice so again if you guys have any more questions or things you want us to talk about continue to leave it in our comments or send us a message on social media at saiga insurance and again, you could also find, uh, contact us on our website at psychinsuranceagency.com. So thank you guys for listening. And if you're watching on YouTube, please don't forget to like and subscribe. That'll help us so much so we can continue making this content for you guys because we really enjoy making it and we hope you guys enjoy it as well. So thank you.